Life's in... <laughs> <laughs> um, since shooting the film last week, yeah, it's been it's changed a little bit. Uh, getting a bit of recognition sometimes, um, but people are are more likely to stare at you mm -hmm. rather than and try and work it out rather than be like, "Hey, you're from Africa United," so yeah, getting a lot of staring and yeah. But it's really fun. I like it anyway. Um, got a lot of um, people like offering me stuff. So since the film has opened up a few doors for me. Cool. Yeah, that was amazing. I think that was one of our highlights. Um, that was like the best yeah. so, no, day of my was, life. No, whatever. <laughs> yeah, no, it was, it was really, really exciting to, to especially because, especially Mark and Jackie were saying as producers, you know, it was, it was such a short jump from them figuring out, uh, you know, <clears throat> what to make and then, Figured out, yeah, let's let's make this film and then shooting in such a short amount of time. So yeah, no, it was, it was an honor. Really. It was brilliant. Um, yeah, it was weird. Yeah, it was it was pretty weird, definitely. Especially especially afterwards when we when we went back home and we we booked like tickets at home to see in the cinema. That was really weird. Yeah, I think it was so, weird um, visiting the cinema to watch ourselves. Yeah, that's it, Because yeah. I think we both, both watched it quite a, a mm, lot, didn't mm. we? Because we were taking our friends several times. And then um, <laughs> <laughs> after watching the movie and then people were like, oh, she's, she looks like the girl, or he's, he's the boy. So it was, it was really nice, I like him. Yeah, well, my mum, my mum's written a book actually, and my face is on the front cover of that. So the producer, the producer's mum, mother-in-law, saw it and asked me to come to an audition, and that's it, really. Yeah. How about you, Sherry? Um, I've been doing a lot of singing and um, performing, dancing and singing outside of school, uh, outside of, in church and outside of church, and I performed for the president of Rwanda. I did a song for him, and then after doing that. Um, the Rwandese embassy recommended me for the film and then I auditioned and I got the part. These guys got like Sherry, um, Eve, Arias and you all got cast like way before me. So first date was me who was kind of new, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Because these guys had like, you, you had like, they had like, they went to Rwanda and did um, like workshops and stuff all together to see how they would like work together. But I was I was casted like ages before these guys. So. Um, my character is called Celeste, and she's fifteen, and she works as a. Uh, unfortunately, she works as um, a prostitute, a child prostitute, but it's not necessarily by choice. It's just um, she ran away from home, and that was as if that was as if it was like the only way that she could get money or um, make something of herself. But then when she met the rest of the team, they helped her to fulfil her dreams and leave the environment that she was in. Um, I thought it would be weird at first because I'm in the church, and I thought um, it wouldn't be, it wouldn't. I mean, like, as I'm in the church, I thought that my church members would think, why is she playing such a yeah. role? It's not good for the church itself. And the reason why I did it, though, is because it's to show people what goes on in Africa mm -hmm. and um, to give them a positive message that they don't have to stay where they are. They can um, leave the bad environment and achieve their dreams. Sure, okay. How about you, Roger? My character? Yeah. He's spoiled, middle class, <laughs> snobbish. I didn't really like him at the beginning, really. All right, okay. Um, and yeah, but you, you you grow to love him as the film the film progresses, and um, that's because he, he he grows to love people other than himself. Yeah. <laughs> so um, yeah, but he's very streetwise as well. So he knows what he's doing, kind of. The first scene <laughs> was all of us five, which is quite ironic because it was the first day and we were all nervous about filming. And I think the best thing to do was what they did is we were all put together for the first scene and we were all walking, do you remember? Yeah. All walking up and um, there was this, th they had the camera and the camera was on this sort of like car thing. Right, okay. And, um, track. Track, yeah, yeah. whatever. <laughs> 
And <laughs> all right, what, do you want to explain it? <laughs> and they were pulling it, and they were pulling it along as we were walking. Yeah. And I think it sort of doomed on us, you know, because uh, you know we arrived on set like eight. So we all had trailers. There were like huge vans everywhere. Sort of dawned on us that we were part of this huge, huge thing called a set, mm -hmm. and it was all new to us. So that that was oh, that was nerve wracking so as well because we're all in a then. different country, all doing this. So yeah, but but after that was fine. Debs came out. We're like, we're supposed to be really tearful, um, and Debs came out and she was just like, guys, you know, you can see it's in the cinemas, and if you're not crying, it's not going to be good, is it? So we were just like, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. So we're there trying to force ourselves. <laughs> we were to there. We were there. Like she left. We were there, and we we just looked at each other and we were just like, <laughs> trying to make ourselves cry. But that that was probably the hardest one. Yeah. Cool. Um, yeah. We shot in Burundi. Um, we had a, it was a lake scene where we were, on in a, we were on in a boat. And that was on Lake Tanganyika, which is the biggest lake in the world, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> isn't, it the, isn't it the second biggest? Or is it the biggest? I thought it was the biggest. Who does geography? Whatever. No, we don't okay. do facts. Right. <laughs> so it's, it's, a, it's a big lake. And that was that was the, like before we were about to shoot that we were, we were all really excited about that. Um, probably like scenery wise, that was probably my favorite. Yeah. I thought it would be, but then when we got there, we kind of made our own family. Right. So, yeah, um, yeah I think it substituted yeah. for the family that we left and friends that we left. Definitely. And I mean, we were looked after as well, which yeah we got like all the food we wanted so that kind of <laughs> took my mind away from everything else just everyone really like yeah, being with as sherry said we, we all became like this small little unit and um everyone had their qualities they brought really it just you just miss that really especially with these sort of things you audition for it you get into it um, and then, you know, like Sherry said, become like this small family. And then as soon as you finish filming, that's it. You're all gone. Yeah. So that, I miss the people, really. They were right. Yeah, good. <laughs> I think Eve passed his... Oh, yeah, Eve, yeah. he passed his exams like, really it, well yeah. or something. And that, because we went to Rwanda for the premiere for that. Sure. And Eric, uh, Eve couldn't join us because he was doing like revision and stuff, so that was quite sad. But it's nice to hear he passed it. So, um, I'm working on like some music. Um, I sing and I also, I also rap. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> um, so I'm just working on some music with a producer, uh, as well as working on a new film that I just heard that I got the part to. So yeah, and Rogers also. Yeah, same really. And um, just finished like f months ago, went out to South Africa again and did a drama with the BBC called Hominid. And um, just did ADR a few weeks back for that. Um, so that should be coming out soon. Cool. It's amazing. It's amazing. Plus this guy is hilarious. <laughs> I miss him so much. You don't understand. Yeah, get it, go on, go and get it. <laughs>